I don't see any zombies. I need to put these in place again. I guess the automatic rearm doesn't work properly for these. Oh no! Someone I think got hit by the trap. Yeah, she did. Where's Build? Build's over here doing that. When these guys start coming our way, they're going to come our way, like, in a big way. Alright, everyone, get inside. Okay, cool. You guys are unrestricted, but I don't want you to go out there. They will go and kill Stolinda. As, uh... She makes her way inside. She could be useful to us. If we're nothing else, um, then just for the uh, free experience, I guess. Working like a charm. Make us a little revenge, eh? Oh, make us little getting jumped by all these zombies. I want the zombie to die first and then we'll... Okay, cool. Now, this is a somewhat manageable number of zombies out there, so... That should be okay. Oh no! Eh, there's Tell. What's your story, Tell Tell? Eh. Ross. So, Finn, yeah, go ahead and recreate a little bit. Oh no, Minion! Then because we were immune to diseases, uh, this doesn't really matter for us, I don't think. We can't get sick. Our whole Emma, if we run into a zombie, is to run away. Let's make sure that is open. And then let's go get some zombie attention, shall we? Hello, zombies! You're all ugly! Oh no. Close it behind us. Zombies just walk onto them. It'll be fine. Don't worry about it. The rest of you, I guess you can all be set to mine as well. Ah, good. The zombies are once again killing themselves for us. Man. Oh man, he's got so much health. Oh no, zombie. Okay, sounds good. We can actually go outside now. Ben, summon. Excellent. I think we've learned more winds of magic. 
So, this is maxed out, so the cost to summon them is, is minimal. We want to reduce the cost of summoning them by even more. Yeah, so all five of these come comes to just a little bit better than one of those. But each time we use this, we get a little bit of mana. So the cost right now is 32.8. It will be going down. It was 40. It has been reduced by... Ten percent in total, and then this will reduce it by another ten or so percent. Stonilda, what is her philosophy? Well, the thing is, if we tame her, mm, we can't tame her, so we actually need to just get rid of her. We could kill her, that would be less effective. So if she stays here, she's just going to eat our food until she dies of, uh, like, freezing to death. Which would be a bit of a problem for us. Oh good, we have a lot of extract already. That's, that's actually good. I think it requires 100 extract to make a 100% zombie serum. Also, did it make a weird noise? Yeah. Say that we so sort of so. Anyway, um, we have a fifty percent chance of resting her. We would need some spell to put her in. However, since we can't tame her. It would be kind of a moot point. Yeah, I think the play is just a to kill her. <laughs> it's a party! Woo! But we do have the glasses for it, so that makes sense. Um, let's go with miscellaneous. Marriage sports. Meditation spots. Care about hitching spots. We'll put that one there. And do we have our patty spot yet? No. So we'll put it there. We're throwing up patty. Oh man. Uh, we don't want any rotting. I think this one is for only human-like, so we need to make a, essentially a copy of it. And this one will be there, and this one is low. And we will say, clear everything, allow corpses, rot. I do like how these minions get rid of all the blood, which is nice. Low food, what are you talking about? We've got plenty of food. Oh, hey, we can get that compacted steel, that'll be nice. Um, right. 
What production can we make? Not really a whole lot. We do need a stone cutting bench, so we can make that. So then we can make more stuff out of out of stone. Guess we'll put this here for now. Now once our rice starts coming in, stuff is going to be very useful to us. How injured are you? Unfortunately, you gotta do what you gotta do. I need you to double tap her. Get rid of her corpse. Means can take care of her body. Did we get a debuff for that, by the way? Witness an outsider's death. That's fine. They were that one moment, dead the next. It was so traumatizing. How are we doing? We ain't without a table. We are uncomfortable. Um, we do need to get complex clothing done. Once that is finished, um, we can take advantage of all of our cotton when that gets done growing. And it looks like our rice is actually done. So Cook is going to be super... Okay, so it's time to start clearing this out. Um, grow. Congratulations, your primary job is growing and planting cut plant planting cuts. Your Your primary job is that again. We're we're gonna go back to people's primary jobs. Um you are cook. Yeah, so you're cooking. Very good cook. Alright. The thing is we don't want them botching these. If we can avoid that at any capacity. So. Oh, it's writing, yes. Now, plants, if you have nothing else. To, uh, to hunt or to handle, then uh, if you have nothing else to plant or handle, then, then you can hunt. Because we have a lot of meat, which means we could have a lot of pemmican, which means we could be doing incredibly well. Thank you, men in. Always a pleasure. A herb snipper. Well, herb snipper, you gotta do your thing, right? Pack a hat. Okay, so. Uh, when he gets there, Plant will start doing some of that. Anyway. Okay, complex clothing. Very good. Let's go with smithing. We want to make breastplates for our dudes and some elementary armor. Okay, so this one is going to be any stone block forever. I'm going to say that say that stone chunks can go in here. We're just going to make this preferred for now. Uh, and as for this, just throw it on the ground. That is the nice part about the minions, is that they can go around and get stuff for us. So, crafts. 
It's going to take us a hot second to get it, but we can at least do the hand tailor table now. This will put it there. Then Bill will probably come over there and build that when he's done recreating. And that would be nice. These are going to have a little bit to go, but it should work. Let's build ourselves some benches. Furniture. Stool. We could optimize this layout a lot more, but we're not worried about that right now. Um, Alright, so this... We have complex clothing now. This is very important because with complex clothing comes the ability to make all kinds of cool things. So, when it's going to get cold. So, one of the things that. Thing is, we're going to want a helmet. We're going to want. Yeah, we, we, we do want armor, but much of the armor we have to wear, or, or can wear all the time, would be like a breastplate. We can wear that almost all the time and we're fine. We need to get smithing for that. Uh, deer skulls are nice. Um... So they, they have, you know, some insulation to everything, but toques are far, far better. Yeah, their insulation is almost twice what the deer skull's insulation is. So we want to get, oh, actually what we want to make are veil, our cloth masks, because that is going to be our protection against the polluted areas, which there are a lot on this map. So face mask, we only need four of them, because Fen is immune to toxic. After that, we need... What does the bandana do for filtration? Uh, only very, very little. Okay, so it's worse than the veil, so <laughs> they're not really worth it. Um, can we wear a face mask and a toque at the same time? Let's see. Toque. Covers jaw. Toque instead of face mask. Covers head and ears. Yes. Yes, we can. So, with that in mind... Do until you have five, because Fen actually needs one. Gun equipped. So once again, 60 normal, and over here, 60 normal. They're going to want some actual proper clothes. But we're going to make the parka first. We need five parkas. Count equipped. 60% health and normal or better. Nobody else should be assigned to crafting, so it shouldn't be a problem. Uh, after that, we need... Just pants and, and a shirt, and that should be fine. We can make boots. Um, I believe it's shoes give you insulation, right? Shoes give you eight insulation. Boots give you 11 insulation. 
Boots give you move speed. Oh, that's right. So what the difference is there is boots give you move speed, shoes give you social influence. That's that's the difference. So we're gonna make boots. It's people moving faster is is, is better. It's nice. Students say at five, and again sixty and normal or higher. Now we can go with glows. I don't think there's anything that can go on the hand slot. You can tell you how 5, 60, normal, better. And we're making the shirts and pants last because the tribal wear is actually pretty good um, in comparison. Yeah, it's actually pretty good. We could make leather armor, but we will or probably not have that much leather just laying around. Pulp coats, outer. Okay, so we're going to go Parka, Tuke, Base Mask. That's right, we need a... At this point, we need a t-shirt, actually. So, um, we're, we're kind of... We're going to be looking kind of weird, because we want to be set up for both winter and summer without needing to change a whole lot. Now we could potentially make that happen by optimizing a lot of things, but we're using mostly um, cotton. So we might be able to get away with stuff. Um, so a cloth parka. It gives us 64 coal insulation, whereas a cloth Duster gives us a lot of heat insulation. It gives us more heat insulation. Um, you can. The game doesn't really go as high uh, in terms of heat as it does in terms of cold. They can go to negative 100 easy, uh, just depending on where you are. But it, uh, I don't think I've ever seen it unless it's like two heat waves where it goes over like 120, 130. So. The boots give a nice amount. The. The gloves, they give a nice amount. The toque actually gives quite a bit, actually. The face mask give any? Yeah, a minuscule amount. Um, we're gonna try going with dusters instead. So we can hopefully have a lot of protection from the uh, heat and cold. Again, we just went normal. I wish we could just type these in, these fields. That, that might go a little faster. Anyway, it doesn't matter. And now we need everything <laughs> essentially built towards making us resistant to cold. So, what about tabards? What do those do? Those are on top. They give cold resist. That's nice. I think jeans give you a lot of cold resist compared to just pants. Pants here. I'm not seeing jeans anywhere. 
So we probably need different types of clothing for jeans. Oh well, whatever. We'll go with pants. And everything is, again, everything is directed at making our selves resistant to cold because we're using a duster. Okay, so now we need a button-down shirt. I guess we could use a fleece shirt as well, but I think the button-down shirt is essentially supposed to be like a flannel shirt or something like that. Is what they were going with. We can make ourselves some rags. Anyway, button down shirt of this. So let's get this to 60. And there we go. And just, you know, for. Yeah, this gives us like almost 10%, almost 10 Fahrenheit cold resist. But there's a lot here. Once the cotton starts coming in, we'll have a lot of this getting made very quickly. What are we researching? Smithing? That can work. Let's switch over to basic furniture. Why don't it take that long? Uh, okay, so we have a lot of... We have a lot of stuff, which is nice. Okay, well, there's some cargo apparel around here. So let's see if I can find it before it rots. Is that rotting elk, unfortunately? Okay, we have another zombie attack. How are these? 1.5 days, not too bad. Where is everyone? Okay, good enough. Um, let's see. Build. I want you to come down here and get their attention. Oh no, minion! As they get closer, he should run away. Also, I need this to be open. So, Craft, can you come over here and open that up? Cool. Build, oh, come over here. And close the door as you go in. So, I want complex furniture now. Excellent. Ah, it's all of them, actually. So once they're all dead, that'll work out. Okay, cool. I just need them to wander onto enough of these. To where they die. refuse until we have guest beds. Oh, good. And they should die pretty soon. Alright. Um, let's see. Craft is way too valuable to go out there and do anything with those guys alive. But has decided he's got this. Oh, good. The minion's just gonna finish them off. That works. Good job, minion. You chewed on them. Okay, so. Hello, new viewer. How are you? We're actually going to be winding down, unfortunately, soonish. 
because I do need to go to work tomorrow. But uh, everything seems to be going pretty well. This actually works amazingly well in Zombieland. <laughs> and these are like two wood each, um, which is nice. They just expire on their own over time, unfortunately. So to creep, we have to keep making them. Okay, so we've finished complex furniture. That's useful. Um, we also have sort of completed a few rooms. That is also very useful. Let's see, what research do we have? Uh, well, first things first is we actually want a barrack or something where everyone can sleep. This is very important for us. It's actually going to be one of our first things that we want to do. Now, with... Okay, we have a lot of... We have a ton of pemmican, so we should be fine. Um, then, go ahead and make more. Excellent. Do we have any more magic? Yeah, we do. Let's keep going with that. That's going to keep pushing the cost of summoning minions down, which means he can summon more minions more quickly. Which means we get more cool stuff. Okay, so he'll finish this, in theory. What have we got? We've got an, a grabby hair ribbon. Excellent. <laughs> Do this. Very good. Okay, so that's probably going to be our... Yeah, that, that's probably going to be our first major room. So let's turn back on our plan. We're going to leave the natural walls to do their thing. Yeah, we're also going to move... We're going to home mover. These two. Over there. Then we're going to build some beds in here. So, what we're probably going to do is have our general purpose beds here. Research lab here and prison there. I think that's what we're going to do. Yeah. So our... Our beds are... We don't really have a whole lot of free room. So we're, we're going to need to do this for our beds. We, we could get away with some other things. Optimize it a little bit. So if this is the entrance, then four, because Fen doesn't sleep, and he doesn't care about a bedroom, and then we want a dresser. Cool, that works. Then because people in this world don't like to sleep at night, I mean, obviously, they, they don't like to sleep in darkness for some reason. We will put a torch there for them. A wander, Kirby! Oh my! Yes, Kirby! Come on in, Kirby! You're a bully! Well, Kirby! You are 18 years old and you have white hair. This is already off to a swimming start. Do you have loose Gare's disease or something? What are you, your baseline now? Right. You're also a psychopath. Fantastic, wonderful. Here's how we here's how we operate. We're all biphasic here. Also, this means we need another bed. There. Um, let's see, Kirby, what are you all trying? I'm gonna call you Build Two. Build Two. Actually, you are Build 
And build, you are now mine. That should work. Let's alphabetize these these tremors for us, shall we? No comes before R. Okay, works. Fun is just special, I guess. Okay, so we have those. This is now a bedroom. Holy crap, we're out of wood, actually. We actually need to go out and cut wood. That's good. We are tree huggers, so that works. Also, all our food is coming in, so that is extra good. Okay, so we're going to take mine, we're going to paste it into craft, except we're going to get rid of mining. We're going to deprioritize it. We're going to swap these. That should work. Mine is now more concerned with mining, and craft is more concerned with crafting. Well, obviously, but build is more concerned with building. Sounds good. Yeah, this should work out great. Then eventually we'll build this, and we will essentially be able to claim this entire area as ours. And everything should work great. As Fen attempts to, uh... Are we wearing a Kamasar hat? We are. Wearing an authority cap. Next we'll be screaming about the party. Alright, so... Good, more stuff gets made. Okay, so we have a lot of rice. We need to start making that into pemmican. To make that into pemmican, we need to kill animals. Wildfire. We can kill animals, too. Okay, so we're going to hunt some elk. How much leather do I... How much meat? That's, that's a lot of meat to go through very quickly. Also, we need to pump our meals up to six. And um, these need to become 12. So we have more. I guess I can do that. I also need to make more weapons for build. That'll be here. Because Fen can't fight. Alright, sounds good. Now, the only person who's not who shouldn't be super into hunting is Oh no, it's fine. Cook will cook very rapidly. Okay, could be worse, yeah. Oh no. Grizzly bear revenge. That could be a problem. Um, do we have any extra wood around here? Do we have to do this the old-fashioned way? Oh, we've got some wood. Okay, so we go back to security. They don't usually make it into into this point. 
Okay, everyone. Area one. Now we need to expand area one to include that wood that is there. Now, usually they don't actually get into the inside part here, so we might have to redesign that. But let's... Let's try to make these. They only require six wood each, so... But anyway, let's expand area one to include that so they can actually build stuff. You guys don't get stabbed by by the uh, stuff we're buying. Ben, can you make another one? Yes. Oh no! <laughs> All right, we we can go out there and fight these guys. We're not gonna take Cook with us though. Cook is going to go and do his own fighting. Uh, he's gonna go and keep cooking things. Kill them. Kill it. Oh, good. I want you to use this, and I want you to come back there. And I want you to shoot the wall. Okay, good. They have come out to play. Now, these guys are special in that you have to melee them. Need to, we need to start moving. Did anyone get bitten? Scratch, 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 scratch. Nope, just scratches. Works for me. Perhaps you should have a bow. Leg it. Open fire. Please don't run out in front of me, in front of people, please. Whichever one is more appropriate. Is that all of them? There's, there are two left. Cool. Okay, so, wait. 
plan, you're hurt. Scratch, bruise, scratch. Okay. That works for me. Now we have plenty of meals. We have these set up now. Again. And everyone's set to area one. How are there with our little experiment of biphasic sleep here? How is everyone's bars? I want to see what it is when it resets to work. Ben doesn't have any research. Okay, let's go to smithing. Let's see, it's currently at anything but the anything before you go to sleep. Now it's sleep. Characters get their bars filled a little bit more. And now they're set to work. So they might need a little bit more recreation time. Hmm. Well, they did just go out and fight a bunch, so maybe not. So they might actually just be fun. Okay, so the cotton is almost ready, which is good. So once the cotton starts coming in, uh, we are going to have what? Oh. We're going to have quite the windfall once once the cotton starts coming in. Okay, so we need wood. Luckily. We can get a decent amount. That'll let us turn more meat and rice into pimpin. So everything should be good. Alright, we have our barracks. Our barracks is probably awful. It's awful! <laughs> That's okay. It is what it is. But we can actually do some things. We don't, we don't have an art table, um, so we can't really make it nice. Um, this one's almost done, actually. We might make this our kitchen. It's nice and close to the outside, so we can easily vent um, heat out of there. But, uh, yeah. Should be nice. Mine. You're digging out the compacted steel. That's good. You're done to dig at the other one. Oh, wonderful. Okay, let's look at our plan again. We don't have a ton of, of, of wood. Uh, we're going to home mover these out here. Simply because this is going to become our kitchen. Actually, we can put it out here. This is, can sort of be our, um, our sort of general purpose workshop. But okay, we're going to take this, we're going to shrink it. That works. And now it is time to move these in. But we just want to make a plan for what that is going to look like. Which means this will probably be our larder. We can always move things if we need to, but this could be our larder where all of our pemmican is going to be being stored. Among other things. 
We just need to be able to vent the, uh, need to be able to vent some, some air, I suppose. When we get air conditioning eventually. But by the time we get there, we should hopefully have this controlled so that we can then, uh, figure out a better solution for that until, before we move over here. Anyway, for now it works. Okay, well, we would want our butchery to be inside as well, and so the thing is, that works perfectly fine as a kitchen. Now for the butchery. <laughs> it's so cramped, I love it. Now for the butchery. The main thing is that the butchery and the kitchen shouldn't share a door. If they do, then you can have problems, if I remember correctly. I think it's that built, uh, any filth that a door has in it counts into both rooms or something like that. So maybe the, the butchery and your uh, kitchen can share a door, but then you have people walking through your butchery all the time, uh, walking through your kitchen all the time. To make your kitchen dirty. Anyway, we don't want that, so we're going to put the butchery here, right next to it. That can work. Yeah, that can work just fine. Right, so we need wooden walls. We, we actually home mover this to there. Home mover this over there. Um, we will modify this plan a little bit. Torch, torch, um, shelf, got shelf of corpses, shelf of food, and then that can work. Or single shelf meat, single shelf, you know, corn, rice, whatever. That can work. Okay, that works. Let's get this made. Oh yeah, this needs to move too. So we need to home move it that as well. I'll move it this over there for now. Uh, then. begin working on fuel stuff, yes. My craft is getting up to move stuff. That works. Okay, sounds good. And we'll actually put saloon doors. those so, so it's easier to get in and out of even though they'll just stay open all the time it's not a big problem all right fantastic let's move this torch there have any spare torches you ever do we'll move that one there then
That works. Oh no, Minion 3 caught, a, caught an animal disease. <laughs> animal 3, no! Okay, finished smithing, we can work on that now. Let's go to plate armor. Fantastic, have we learned a new spell? Yeah, excellent. This is as cheap as it can possibly get now, so how cheap is it? It costs 29.5 mana to summon a minion. We can spam little bastards out like they're nothing. <laughs> for me. Okay, so we have a fire. Yeah, it's all done though. Uh, on its own pretty quickly. So most of this is nearing being ready. End of Jungus to September, right? Yeah! What's the growing season? It tells you here. The 6th of September. Sounds good. So we had our first, we had our big major holes. We're going to say don't allow sowing, thawing, don't allow sowing. They don't resell things for no reason. Okay, so that works. We have this. That's good. Um, I think we'll just use... Um, yeah, let's put that there. I think we'll just put a bunch of uh, shelves in here, and that will allow us to... Um, get a lot of pemmican storage going. Okay, but let's go to furniture since we do have shelves. One here, one there. Two here. Uh, where does this need to go? We had that there for specifically for the crafting spot, but we can get rid of that now. Cool. So this craft, this small wooden shelf, this one is foodstuffs, raw foods, we're going to say vegetarian, this one is nothing raw food meat. Okay, this one, we'll say this is critical, uh, do not allow rotten. Animal corpses. Search to help him get this done very quickly. Okay, so. Those made and okay, so these are all food. That should work. Link them, they are foods. So this one will say it's critical.